So right now these are Vidal grapes and we leave a, a few little vines here so that the tourists can see them as they come over to the winery. And you can see in some places where they've just completely dried up here, there's almost no juice left in them. You could squeeze them right now and there's just nothing coming out of them. And then if you look further down here, you can see where the birds have been able to get to these grapes here. And so we're losing grapes to the birds, we're losing grapes to dehydration. Let's call it difficult. It's still good wine. It's, it's actually good quality. It's just that it, uh, margins are a lot tighter. And while now the ice wine grapes at Pilateria Estates and the other wineries in the Niagara region have been harvested, the yo-yo weather patterns and mild temperatures have affected volume. This will be um, a lower production per year about, by about 40% because we have um, uh, had the grapes on the vine uh, during warmer weather. Mild weather um, has grapes uh, getting soft and then they start to dehydrate faster. And that's because ice wine grapes can be pretty finicky. They need the perfect conditions to yield their Canadian liquid gold. Ice wine grapes need to be negative 8 degrees Celsius or colder. Uh, the grapes have to turn brown. Once that occurs, uh, we like to get them harvested right away. Normally we pick about the week before uh, Christmas, uh, a little bit. We pick in between Christmas and New Year's, and the bulk of it comes off in the first week of January. People probably thought very, very cold, uh, kind of middle of November this year, that that would have been good for you. Why is that not necessarily the perfect time to pick? It wasn't the greatest for us because it was too early. The grapes were still green in color, so there was a brown and greenish in color in the grapes. So when you press them, instead of getting those ice wine flavors, you got a portion of grape juice flavors. Farmers live and die by the weather, and uh, we learn to have reserves. We learn to save for tomorrow. So we always have an inventory a couple years years of ice wine uh, juice or wine and that way if there is a very very bad year and we re harvested very little we would at least have wine for the next year. So with global warming there's a lot of areas that cannot produce ice wine anymore and so Canada has uh, grown to become especially in the Niagara region to become the leading production area in the world. So while volumes this year were affected because of those higher inventory levels, prices will not be. In Niagara-on-the-Lake, Audra Brown, City News.